Title, The Dreamcatcher Max was a young boy who loved to explore the world around him. He was brave and curious, always eager to learn new things. But there was one thing that scared him more than anything else. Bad dreams. Every night Max would toss and turn in his bed, unable to sleep because of the scary monsters and strange creatures that haunted his dreams. He tried everything he could think of to make the bad dreams go away. Counting sheep, drinking warm milk, even sleeping with a nightlight. But nothing worked. One day, Max overheard his grandmother talking about dream catchers. She said they were magical objects that could capture bad dreams and let good dreams pass through. Max was intrigued. He decided to make a dream catcher of his own. He gathered a hoop, some string, and feathers, and started weaving the string around the hoop. He attached the feathers to the bottom, working carefully and with great focus. He put all his energy into the dream catcher, hoping it would work. That night, Max hung the dream catcher above his bed and went to sleep. He dreamt of flying through the clouds and playing with a friendly dragon. He woke up feeling refreshed and happy. The dream catcher had worked. Over the next few weeks, Max had more happy dreams than bad ones. He even started to have lucid dreams where he could control what happened. He felt more confident and less afraid of the dark. One night, Max woke up to a strange noise coming from outside his window. He looked up and saw a dark figure creeping towards his bed. It was a nightmare trying to sneak into his dreams. Max quickly closed his eyes and focused on the dream catcher. He imagined a bright light surrounding him, protecting him from the nightmare. When he opened his eyes, the nightmare was gone. Max knew that the dream catcher had saved him from a scary dream. He felt grateful for its power and decided to make dream catchers for his friends and family, so they could have peaceful dreams too. Max's dream catchers became very popular in his town. Everyone wanted one, and Max became known as the dream catcher maker. He continued to explore the world around him, always learning and growing. But he never forgot the power of the dream catcher and the peace it had brought to his life.